Hello and welcome to another Player 2 unboxing. My name is Paul James and this week I have the fortunate opportunity of unboxing for you Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom The King's Edition. Now Revenant, uh, Revenant Kingdom is the sequel to obviously the original Nino Kuni. It's not set in the same uh, the same sto uh, story. It is not a direct sequel in any way shape or form aside from the numbering. It's set in the same world but that's about the only link the original game has to this sequel. Um, I picked up this today, courtesy of my local EB Games. Thank you, uh, EB Games Sunbury. Much appreciated. Um, and I'm going to be cracking into it for you right now so we can get a bit of a look at the contents. Um, so taking a look at the box straight away, you're obviously seeing some art there for the game. It uh, continues down the side here. You've got the back that just kind of runs you through the contents of this collector's edition. And then, um, you know, Co Cooney written quite a lot down the side. Um, in all, uh, a whole host of different languages. So, yeah. Uh, and same deal across the top. Nino Kuni, King's Edition, King's Edition. Let's get into this thing. Now, I'm usually pretty rough and pretty brutal with my collector's editions, but I don't really know the contents of this, so this was a last minute transfer. Um, as many of you are hopefully aware by this point, uh, I reviewed Nino Kuni 2 for the website. Uh, so you can find that review already at player2.net.au. There's also a Player 2 Plays dedicated to the game where you can kind of see some of the basics of what the game is and how it works. Uh, you can find that on this same YouTube channel, so please make sure to subscribe and go check that out. Um, so for a while there, I wasn't even going to pick up a copy of it. But a few things changed, circumstances changed, money was available. Um, and so I went and, go bought, uh, went and bought this with my own dime, and I'm really quite glad that I did. I originally had the Prince's Edition available, and yeah, circumstances changed, some more money freed up courtesy of some other reviews that are coming, that meant some pre-orders I had got cancelled, um, and it's led to this scenario where, and sorry, there's tape on each of the four corners here, uh, it's led to this scenario where I had a bit of extra cash available to splash, and you know, rather than doing the the very adult thing of saving it for a rainy day and you know who knows what's going to happen Paul you're, you're nearly 30 you know you've got to think about families and all that sort of stuff I thought nah I'm going to buy this really expensive collector's edition and upgrade my already expensive prince's edition to the king's edition but now that's the cover out of the way um, the same art continues on this side uh, we've got a picture of Evan on the side here the game's lead protagonist And we'll get into it. The sound of Nino Kuni is what I'm greeted with first. More art of Evan here. Um, I am going to butcher this. There's two tracks on it though. The theme from Nino Kuni 2 and track 2, The Curious Boy. Music composed and directed by Joe Hisashi. Hisashi? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I butchered. Um, Great little pop up here, and then the contents. These are records, as you're seeing as it slides out the side here. We're talking records here, so this is this is fantastic. We're, we're working in vinyl. Um, the sound of Nino Cooney in vinyl, no less. I think that is fantastic, and whilst I don't have a uh, record player here, some family do, so I'm going to have to drop by and test this out at some point. So that is the sound of Nino Kuni in vinyl form. We're now looking at the art of Nino Kuni 2. Fairly large art book. I'm not going to crack through it too much out of fear of spoilers for you, the viewer. I'm going to do a very quick sort of flick. Um, Lots of character concept art, locations, uh, the vehicles, I assume it's so, uh, some of the enemies, the bosses, uh, and I assume some of the Higgledies will be in there somewhere as well. Um, the art of Nino Kuni 2. We're getting start, uh, getting towards the, the main attraction here. That being the game, of course. But next up, oh, I don't want to stuff this up got something to help. A 
I think before we get to the contents of this, we'll get to the game. Because that there's the main attraction. Here is the game, Nino Kuni 2, PS4. You can pick up the game on PC, courtesy of Steam, if you like. This is the Steelbook. I personally am a massive sucker for Steelbooks. Um, oh, it's got the disc in here. Oh no, the, the King's Makers, the making of. So we've got a DVD making of as well. Included with some uh, postcards. There's a few postcards here. So they're really quite nice as well. The art in this game is truly phenomenal. Um, I'm, the main attraction of the original Nino Kuni was the fact that Studio Ghibli, the famed Japanese animators working on it, they're not working on this sequel, but you can still see their influence has infected every part of the, the visual design of the game. It looks gorgeous, stunning. Go check out that Player 2 plays if you're not already sure. So that's the Steelbook. We're starting to run out of room here now. Like I said, the core game itself, which I've now gotten wedged in here because the little string things come out. The core game itself. And then our final attraction. And I thankfully saw a free floating copy of this in store before I picked it up. And it's almost what sold me on the whole thing. Everyone loves those little, and try and flash back to when you were young here or if you're a parent, this is what you might've done for some of your children. Um, those little musical devices, you kind of crank them and then they start playing and I'm sorry the name of those kind of eludes me. Um, but there was those beautiful little instruments that would just play a little tune that would help your children get to sleep or help you when you're a child get to sleep. Were well, you getting one of those in Nino Kuni too? As I get rid of the plastic around it. So here is the main attraction. We've got a little statue of sorts. So we've got Evan surrounded by his loyal followers on one side and then Evan seated alone on the other. We've got a crank on the bottom. And it slowly rotates whilst it plays some music for us. I probably cranked it a little bit too much for the sake of this. Don't know how long it's going to go for. But if you listen, that is the iconic theme from the Nino Kuni franchise. Okay, so whilst that plays itself out, oh, it just finished. I think that is truly fantastic. We've seen some great collector's editions over the journey. The contents of this trump almost any collector's edition I've ever seen. We've got a high quality art book. I love myself an art book. I love steel books. I know that you know people's opinions of those differ, but I do love myself a steel book. It's got the making of DVD in it. We've got a vinyl record, which is just, oh, vinyl's becoming popular again with people. Um, and for them to kind of embrace that and give us a vinyl copy of parts of the soundtrack, I think that's incredible. And then this little, I guess we'll call it like a music box. It's kind of not really, but um, like a music box that plays the main thing. That I think this, this is an incredible package. Um, and if you happen to be strolling by your local games retailer that has a copy of this King's Edition, I highly recommend that you get on it. Nino Kuni 2 is a fantastic game. Like I said, my reviews on player2.net.au already. Uh, there's a player 2 plays there on the site for you if you want to check that out. And the contents of this collector's edition are like of the quality that I've never seen before. So I really, really highly recommend that you pick it up. Um, if you've got the cash to do so. Please spend responsibly. Um, if you've enjoyed this unboxing, because that is the contents of this entire thing. There's our postcards. Um, if you've enjoyed this unboxing, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. All those buttons are down below here and that'll allow you to get access to weekly episodes of Patch, The Video Games Club, The Insider, Player 2 Plays, there's trailers, uh, our new series, The Late Game Review, and a whole bunch more. There's some awesome stuff there. Please make sure to go and check it out. Uh, for written content, make sure to visit the website, player2.net.au, where you can find reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, uh, the Player 2 Writer's Draft, and heaps more, all contributed by some of the best talent in Australia. 
If you're loving what we do in both spaces, please consider becoming a patron at uh, uh, patreon.com slash player2au uh, play, and that will allow you to pledge a few dollars and get a lot back. We're giving you exclusive videos, we're giving you early access to videos. Uh, if you pledge at a high enough tier, you can join us on the monthly Player 2 podcast. There's awesome perks there for you and we're looking for your support to help grow and become bigger and better for you in the future. So if you enjoy what we do, please consider subscribing and helping out. For rolling updates, for rolling updates you can find me at PaulJamesP2 on Twitter. The website you can find at Player2AU on Twitter. And until next time, that's Nino Kuni 2. Please consider checking it out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.